Robbie, I want to congratulate you for being ele elected to the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. Very, very blessed and honored to be here. And uh, yeah. this is a huge uh, honor for me to be able to be inducted today. Oh, good. I am going to ask you a few questions about your wrestling background. Okay. What individual had the greatest impact on your wrestling career? Mark Halverson. Oh, Mark. Mark Halverson. Um, Coach Halverson. Um, I mean, that's a really tough one, but uh, uh, by far, he he was the biggest impact to me. Um, him giving me the uh, confidence in, in in helping me build uh, and and dream to where I, I went to was huge. But also him, and then also Coach Bill Martell uh, were probably the two that really impacted me the most as a young man. And then um, and then. I know you asked for one, but I have to yeah. give all three. Oh, that's right. And then uh, uh, Momir Pekovic, um, when I was at the training Perfect. center, when he uh, he uh, Olympic champion for former Yugoslavia, he was my coach at the ch at the training center, um, and uh, he he those are the three men that really impacted my career to dream to be an Olympic Olympian one day and a world team member and aspirations of being world champion and getting very close to achieving almost achieving yeah. that dream. So. What? Uh, who was your wrestling idol uh, or hero as you? Well, as you grew up, did you have a hero? My wrestling. So uh, I've always had a hero. My father's my hero. Um, he never wrestled. Uh, he he played football and he was an amazing coach. But uh, for a hero, that's who my my true hero is. Um, uh, now, wrestling idol is, uh, I've had many, um, and it's more, uh, I've never, when I was younger, I wasn't really a student of the sport. I didn't know much um, about the outside of the my area wrestling. So it was my brothers at the community youth center, the CYC, or formerly known the Concord Youth Center, those were the guys I looked up to. Um, Kenny Cook, Stephen Gee. Uh, Steve Key, um, Dustin Tillman, Jimmy Madera. So those are the they were young men who I would I got to see and be aspirations. But right. then you know, of course, as a bigger boy um, and seeing Rulon do what he did, oh, Rulon yeah. Gardner was a big one for me. Uh, Matt Gaffari, um, and oh, then man. you know uh, Alexander Karelin. But it was the ones in the room who um, who brought me along and and I got to work with, and then. Of course, seeing heavyweights do their thing and be on the big stage, those were unbelievable people to watch and, and mentor. Mm -hmm. But my hero is my father. What personal attribute contributed most to your success in the sport of wrestling? What personal attribute? Um, my heart. Um, I never let anybody crush my spirits. Um, I never let anybody tell me I couldn't. Um, I have, I knew that I had the biggest heart in the world, um, and that's what took me so far. And what I mean by heart is confidence in myself and um, being able to go in deep water and, and fight um, and, and understand that I'm okay and you're going to be okay no matter what, and, and the heart to drive me through it. I wasn't the most athletic looking. I wasn't the most, um, might not have been the most uh, sharpest with my skills. Um, I might not have been the strongest, but my heart is what was the biggest, for me, yeah. my biggest attribute of who pushed yeah. me very far. What is the most outstanding memory you have of your career in the sport of wrestling? Um, a couple. Uh, my, my, one of my biggest was my uh, third place match for um, the world championships in 2015. Um, it was against the Russian, uh, and I ended up actually ended up losing. I ended up taking fifth in the world that year. But it was uh, a huge. The whole tournament was by far one of the best tournaments I've ever wrestled in my life. I got to qualify for the, qualify the weight for the Olympics that year, and then um, winning the Olympic trials, of course, making the Olympics, and then um, my Olympic moment. Uh, at the Olympics was wow. pretty awesome. You know, it's uh, those are probably the three biggest highlights of my career. Um, they're all really close together, but it was 
very special to me um, to qualify the weight and get the job done, then making the team and then actually having the moment that I've dreamt for since I was nine years old. Really, that's when my Olympic dream really started was around nine. So um, that was a pretty amazing moment for me. So terrific. Through throughout your wrestling career, career, what is the single most memorable match or event? Um, I would have to say the single most. Well, there, well, there's a couple really good ones, but uh, it has to be. It's a match I lost. Um, there's two matches. There's one where I put myself in a hole. Fargo, uh, the Fargo Nationals, U.S. Nationals, Fargo Championship, my, my senior year. In freestyle, I was down 7-0, came back 111 to 10. That's pretty memorable. It's a pretty awesome one uh, for my early career. But then my 2015 match against the Russian in that whole tournament, uh, when I'm down 7-0 and almost coming back to beat him for the bronze medal, um, by far was wow. a amazing moment in my career. So it's amazing. What what made you or get you involved in wrestling? Um, I got in wrestling through football. Uh, it was a total fluke how I got into wrestling. Um, my dad was a football coach. My dad's an amazing coach just in general, never wrestled a day in his life. Um, he had some football players who were wrestlers. The wrestling coach uh, left, uh, got another job at a different school. So he left and they didn't have a coach for the season. So they asked my dad, my dad's like, I've never done this ever before in my life. And they're like, we just need a coach, and you're a great coach. He stepped in, and he brought in an assistant. Um, and they, his assistant said, you should get your son into wrestling. That's it. I had no, I had a cousin that wrestled for a few, few weeks, or for a, a year um, in his high school career. But we had no wrestling in our family. I was destined to be a football player. And I started this beautiful sport of wrestling at the age of four and a half years old, rolling around on high school mats with rest, uh, their high school with high school kids and not knowing anything about it, and really started excelling in wrestling when I got to the community youth center uh, back in 1996. So, wow. if you had the opportunity to start your career all over again, is there anything you would change? No. No. Um, I've had an amazing career. Um, I've had uh, ups and downs. Um, I have learned many lessons. This sport has, in this career that I've had, have molded me to be the man I am today. And uh, I think I've become a pretty good human. Um, again, my story's not over yet. So I, hopefully it's not as far from over. But uh, I wouldn't change a thing I've ever done. Well, in, in ending, what would you like people to remember about you? Whew. Um, hopefully, people when I'm when I'm gone one day. Um, hopefully, people will remember that I made my coaches proud. My my family proud and that I'm a good human. That would by far, out of anything, I don't, wins, losses, anything, that is what means the most to me. Um, I work at the community youth center now. Um, I've taken the, me and a teammate of mine, Steve Gee, have taken the place of Mark Halverson, who was an amazing human. Um, and uh, if we can even just fill his shoes a little bit, uh, I think that will be good enough for people to remember me by. That's fantastic. Thank you. Again, congratulations. Thank you. It's quite a story. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you.